Welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, we are going to focus on series and sequence. First, let us differentiate what is series and sequence. So when we say series, series is a function whose domain is a set of positive integers or the set of numbers 1, 2, 3 up to n. While series, it is the representation of the sum of the terms of a sequence. In order for us to identify whether the given is an example of series or sequence, always remember a sequence is a list of number separated by commas, while a series is a sum of numbers separated by plus or minus sign. So let's have an example. So let us write sec, that is SEQ, if the given item is an example of sequence. And we are going to write SER, that is S-E-R, if the given is an example of series. Always remember, to identify whether the given example is a series or sequence, sequence is a list of numbers separated by commas. While series, it is the sum of numbers separated by plus or minus sign. So let's have an example. Number 1, 1, 2, 4, and 8. So this one... By middle inspection, we can say that it is an example of sequence. Therefore, we write as S E Q. Number 2, 2, 8, 10. So it is separated by comma. Therefore, S E Q or sequence. The number 3, negative 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. Therefore, it is separated by positive or plus and minus sign. So we can say that. This example is an example of series. So we write S-E-R. What about number 4? 1 half, 2 third, 3 fourth, 4 fifth. So this one is sequence. So S-A-Q. Number 5, 1 plus 2 plus 2 raised to 2 plus 3 raised to 2 plus 4 square. So this is a series. So S-E-R. Number 6. 1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.001 plus 0 0.0001. So this is an example of series because it is separated by plus sign. So that is sir. And then number 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have a comma, therefore it is a sequence. And then number 8, 4, 7, 11, and 15. So this is an example of sequence. So we already know what is series and sequence. So let's have another example. So let us determine the first five terms of each defined sequence and give their associated series. For example, 2 minus n. So all we have to do is to find the first five terms and to write the sequence and series. So we have here 2 or n equals 1. That is 2 minus 1. That is 1. And then if n is 2, that is 2 minus 2. That is 0. In n is 3, that is 2 minus 3. Is negative 1. If n is 4, that is 2 minus 4, that is negative 2. And then if n is 5, 2 minus 5, that is negative 3. So therefore, our sequence is 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. What about the associated series? So the associated series is 1 plus 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3. But what is the sum of 1 plus 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3? If you are going to simplify this one, we're going to have negative 5. What about number 2? 1 plus 2n plus 3n square. 
So we have n is 1. We have 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1 square. So that is 1 plus 2 plus 1 squared is 1 times 3. That is 3. Therefore, 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is 6. And then, n is 2. So we have 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 3 times 2 square. So we have here 1 plus 2 times 2 is 4 plus 2 square, that is 4, times 3. That is 12. Therefore, we have 1 plus 4 plus 12. That is 17. Now, what if if n is 3? So we have 1 plus, I'm going to multiply directly. 2 multiplied by 3. That is 6 plus 3 square. That is 9 times 3 is 27. 1 plus 6 plus 27, that is 34. And then, n is 4, that is 1, plus 2 multiplied by 4, that is 8, plus 4 square, that is 16, times 3, that is 48. Let's add 1 plus 8 plus 48, that is 57. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 terms. Let's have n is 5. If n is 5, we have 1 plus 2 multiplied by 5 is 10. 5 squared, that is 25, times 3 is 75. And then 1 plus 10 plus 75 is 86. So therefore, we have a sequence 6, 17, 34, 57, 86. What about the shaded series? So the series is 6 plus 17 plus 34 plus 57 plus 86. Now, let us find the sum of 6 plus 17 plus 34 plus 57 plus 86. So if you are going to add 6 plus 17 plus 34 plus 57 plus 86, that is 200. So this will be our answer. 200. What about number 3? 2 raised to n. N is 1, that is 2. 2 raised to 2, that is 4. 2 raised to 3, that is 8. 2 raised to 4, that is 16. And 2 raised to 5 is 32. So therefore, the sequence is 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. Now, what about the associated series? We have 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32. So what is the sum? If you are going to add 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32. So this is 62. So this will be our answer. What about number 4? If n is 1, 4 times 1, that is 4 plus 1, that is 5. If n is 2, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, that is 9. If n is 3, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1, 13. 4 times 4, 16 plus 1, 17. What about 4 times 5, 20 plus 1, 21. So this will be our sequence. Then let's find the associated series. So since we have 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, 
So let us write series 5 plus 9 plus 13 plus 17 plus 21. Now, let us find the sum. 5 plus 9 plus 13 plus 17 plus 21 that is 65. So the sum is 65.